I just wanted to make a quick video to try to help some people out there that may not be aware. Uh, talking about chemical injectors. Everybody pretty much knows what a chemical injector is. However, there are certain aspects that you may not realize when you actually have your chemical injector installed onto your pressure washer. Most people leave their chemical injector installed on their pressure washer and uh, they still use it while they have it to surface clean. Although the main purpose of the chemical injector is to apply chemical uh, downstreaming, applying your bleach, uh, degreaser, whatever the case may be. Uh, if you're not actually using that chemical injector, the best thing to do is to remove the chemical injector so that way you can maintain full flow of your pressure washer. Having said that, this is your chemical injector right here. Inside the chemical injector, as far as uh, maintaining full flow, having this installed will restrict your flow. And here's why. Inside that chemical injector, you can see I have different orifices. These are the orifices that are inside your actual chemical injector itself. You can see how small this orifice is. This is what restricts your flow. You have water flowing through this small orifice in order to create a drop in pressure so that way you can create a vacuum to draw your chemical. Leaving this attached is what actually reduces your flow. However, you can alleviate that problem by getting yourself a chemical injector bypass kit. And that's exactly what this is. This is a chemical injector bypass kit. As you can see with the uh, ball valve open right now, what will happen is uh, water will go through the path of least resistance. So water will flow around as well as through your chemical injector. So it's not just going just through the orifice by itself, but it also will go around so that way you can maintain full flow. Now when I want to downstream, I turn this ball valve and that'll close this loop off, forcing water to go through your chemical injector so that way you can downstream your chemical. And then when you're done and you want to surface clean or rinse, open this ball valve back up and that'll give you full flow. It's just something for you guys to think about so that way you can uh, be a little bit more efficient. You may find that maybe your surface cleaner may not be running quite good because of the fact that you're restricting your flow due to the fact of the orifice size. Hopefully this helps somebody.